Uh, welcome to this public meeting for 2023 resurfacing start maintenance project, street maintenance project uh, under city of Fort Worth in transportation and public works. Uh, uh, my name is Tariqul Islam with the project manager of this project. Uh, the city inspector for this project is Stephen Bernard and contractor is PhD construction. The construction cost of this project is approximately 1.8 million. Um, the project schedule uh, we anticipate to start on February 13. That is next month and hopefully it should be complete in seven months. That is in by September 2023. There are a few streets uh, included in these projects in two different neighborhoods. One of the neighborhood has six streets. Uh, it's showing in the plan with the red. Uh, the six streets are Bell Place, Barnswick Street, Climber Street, Thomas Place, Tremont Avenue, and Wirefield Street. And there's only one more street in different location, Yuma Avenue. The reason we put these streets under the contract because these streets are really bad. There are some sample pictures from the existing condition of those streets. You can see a lot of failures, alligator cracking, potholes, and one of the main things, this street doesn't have any carbon girder for drainage. And some homeowner doesn't have driveways as well. <clears throat> as you can see in the picture. And also in the intersection, um, some curb ramps are not ADA compliant. The project scope includes definitely the installation of carbon girder for the whole length of the street will install carbon girder. We'll replace the driveway, which are missing currently. And of course, we will resurface the roadway. That includes, we will pulverize the streets. We'll dig out the streets in 11 inch and put, add cement during pulverization, compact the sub base and put a new three inch asphalt on top. <clears throat> and we'll construct or replace the ADA ramps, which are not currently in compliant. And also we will replace the damaged sidewalk within the limit of the project. And just to clarify, we will only replace the damaged sidewalk. We will not install new sidewalk in this project. Here are some pictures uh, from Another project, which are lately completed. After the completion of this project, it will look like this new asphalt with new carbon girder and driveways. There are another some pictures from the other project. Um, some ADA compliant ramp. It's going to be look like this. Some other type of ramps where it is needed. Uh, during constructions, uh, some impact will be there in the construction area. It is normal during construction, there will be some equipment on the street, some limited parking availability will be there, and some sounds and dust. But our contractor will uh, try to minimize all of the impacts as much as possible. Uh, equipment will not close any driveways. So residents will have all the time access open to their homes. Um, available signs will be there, construction signs. Um, ahead of time, you will be notified. All the residents will be notified about upcoming construction. And in any lane closure, we will not close the street. 
um, we, the lane might be closed for on and off for the constructions. And if there's any driveway need to be closed for the construction for temporarily, we will be, it will be notified ahead of time so that you can park your car on the side streets or, or other side of the streets, whichever is applicable. And throughout the construction, um, contractor and the city will be in contact with the residents for any kind of closure. And please uh, make sure you check your door for the door hangers. Uh, prior to start construction, you will supposed to see door hangers on your door about the scheduling of upcoming construction. Here's my contact information, my name and email address with phone number. And I believe the mailer you receive in your mail has also my name and contact information. Now the time of for questions. Please unmute yourself. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this project, please go ahead and ask your question. Any question? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, what uh, what do you envision in terms of the duration of the project? What is your timeline for beginning and ending? Yes, we will start next month, 13th of February, and we'll complete by September this this year. Oh, by September. Okay. And um, another question too. Um, yeah, specific to my my location. Um, I don't have any curbs, but and over the years we've had trees that have grown up right on the edge of the street line. Um, so, in terms of scoping out where a curb could go, are there potential that any trees might need to be removed? Yes, uh, if any trees on our way to put the new curb and gutter, uh, we are, we will review the type of tree and the condition of the root, and also contact our forestry department, they will review. If the tree needs to be get out, yes, we will remove the tree by, by the permission of the forestry and we'll definitely let the homeowners know before we remove the tree. There's in one there's one in particular that's a very, very large mature tree and it's right on the edge of the asphalt. So um and also there uh to add uh in Prompt to curb as I've done planning over the years. I piled up rocks to minimize erosion, and I can get out there and I can move the rocks back, obviously, so we can free up an area to you know to dig out and put a curb in. Um, yes. So the rock I can take care of, but the uh, the trees you know are something going to have to be looked at. Oh yeah, definitely we will look at the trees. We have a pay item in the contract for removal of the tree, and. Definitely, we will look at the tree. If the tree needs to be removed, we will remove it. But as I said, before the removal, we will get in touch with the homeowner like you and also with our forestry department. They will review. So, yes, uh, if the tree on the on the way of the carbon gutter, it needs to be removed, but we will review it before the removal. Okay, thank you. And also, you can take care of your uh, for of your you know gravel or dirt whatever you have, that's not 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 be an issue. Well, before anything on your property or anyone's property, we'll get in touch with the homeowners. Yeah, those those rocks are definitely going to have to be moved one way or the other, and I put them there so I can't help. I get them out of the way. Um, yeah, it was a good as I dug up uh, to plant trees and bushes. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll we'll get in touch with you before we touch anything on your property. Okay. Uh, what about improvements that other neighbors have also added? Um, I know that uh, there is one neighbor in particular who has put up a um, pavers as a, like a retaining wall, and uh, she doesn't have any curves there. Is that potentially that retaining wall going to have to be moved as well? Uh, we, at this time, I cannot make any comment on this. We will review. 
if that retaining wall is on the way of the curb and girder, it, it might need to be removed partially, but as I said, we need to review. Uh, I know some of some property has a uh, kind of retaining wall or something like that. Um, definitely we'll have a review and get involved with the homeowners, what we can do with that retaining wall. But we have the carbon gutter need to be placed. Otherwise, the street cannot be repaved. I'm I'm pretty sure that retaining wall is right on the curb line because the cars park right next to it. So I'm, I, it might be back to that, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if it's on it. Yes, sir. We will definitely look at it. If it needs to be removed, we will remove it and make some adjustment to the retaining wall. Whatever is needed, we will do that. Okay. Any other questions? I think that's all the questions I had. Okay, so thank you. And as I said, uh, you will get be no you'll be notified before we start the construction. Please look at your door. You will receive the door hanger and the contact information of the inspector will be there on the door hanger. And if any question, you can also contact me directly. Okay, very good. Well, we are definitely looking forward to it. Uh, the, the streets have been, uh, I know the cities have come out many, many times having to patch, and it's been a routine thing, and they've been good about coming out and doing it, but uh, over time, the streets have just gotten to where they, uh, they form potholes frequently. Um, and Thomas Place in particular is a, and Tremont as well, uh, because the, uh, the on-ramp for Interstate 30 is right there at the access road in Tremont. So there's frequently a lot of north-south traffic on Tremont, and a lot of the people down in the southern part of the neighborhood will come up um, Thomas Place as well and then cut over. So uh, even though these are side streets that aren't shouldn't be primary, they are kind of a main route out of the neighborhood to get onto the freeway. So they, these streets do get some traffic. Yes, yeah, I understand. It's been there for a long time on our list, but it couldn't make in the bond program. But finally, we managed to put those streets in the maintenance program to get it done. Yes, sir. We know about the story of this. All these things have been there for a while. Well, I, I can tell you exactly when they got paved originally, because there's a neighbor down the street about three blocks south of me. Um, she said that they originally paved the streets. She thinks it was like maybe in 1973 or four. And uh, she said before that, it was a dirt street. And when cars came up and down, it was constant dust. So um, uh, the original the original surface underneath the asphalt, and you can see some of it along the curbs with the original layer, and some of that dates, according to her, dates back to the early 70s. Yes, sir. I understand. Yes, definitely at this time, it will going to be a good street. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other question from any other anyone else? All right, if there is no other question, I think we can adjourn this meeting. Uh, this meeting is being recorded and it will be, as I said, it will be in the city website for later to view. And thank you all for attending this meeting. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.